Do okay. you have a nickname in the kitchen? <sighs> Apple. <laughs> I am here with Scott Linquist, corporate executive chef of Dos Caminos Mexican Kitchen here at the Palazzo Resort in Las Vegas. What are you going to be preparing for us today, chef? We're actually going to prepare a fish taco. We call it our Baja style pescado taco, pescado being fish, and Baja style meaning from like Baja, California. The one I'm going to do now is actually a grilled version. I'm going to start by basically rubbing a little, this is a little bit of light olive oil over each of these fillets. It is mahi-mahi, which is called dorado in Mexico. It's a great fish for this. It's very common in the Pacific. It grills really well. So we're gonna season it on both sides. Never have a blank in the kitchen. Never have a blank. I was gonna say hooker, but I don't know why that would, I don't know why that would ever happen, but you never know. Mahi-mahi is also really good if it's a little bit pink in the middle. You don't wanna cook it well done. If you cook it well done, it starts to fall apart. You're gonna grill them for, just about two to three minutes on on each side. And you want a really hot grill because you want, you definitely want the char on the outside. And and what we what I just did is we call it a crotch hat, a cross hatch, crotch hatch. Hey, crotch hatch. No, that's not, that's not what you call it, that's not it. Cross hatch, when you're grilling something, you go usually from like one o'clock to 11 o'clock. So it gives it the um, the grill marks. Me, I eat anything and everything. I mean, honestly, the weirder, the better. In Oaxaca, we eat chapulinas, which are like toasted grasshoppers, and gusanos, which are the worms that live on the agave plant. So I'm guessing you've probably eaten the worm out of the bottle of tequila. I'm gonna have to say that I haven't done that in years. And in years. <laughs> that's more of a college. That's more of a college thing. I have eaten that variety of worm. The gusano is the same worm that is in the bottom of a mezcal bottle. There's, a, there's something called escamoles, which are kind of, that are ant larvae that um, actually look like little round maggots. But with a little bit of garlic and chili, they t they taste fantastic. Well, well, if it's two things I'm trying to cut down on, it's parasites and maggots. Parasites and maggots. <laughs> Yeah, you know, if they're clean properly, they're okay. I'm gonna take our flour tortillas. I'm just gonna quickly heat them on the grill. We, we serve it, we, we call it Baja style because we serve it in a flour tortilla. Flour tortillas are not that common anywhere in Mexico with the exception of in the north and in, on the Baja Peninsula. This is one of the few tacos that we use a flour tortilla for. In culinary school, they called me Scooter. I hated that. So don't call me that. I hated it. I'll never call you that scooter. Okay, okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of guacamole. And here at Dos Caminos, we're really well known. Our, our Probably our signature dish is our guacamole, that and our margaritas. So we have a little bit of guacamole. We're gonna take our grilled mahi-mahi. This is pickled jalapeno slaw. It's got the acidity that you want. It's also got the spice that you want with these tacos. Then we add a little bit of pico de gallo. In our re restaurant in New York, our, our Midtown restaurant, we sell 100 orders of them a day sometimes. This is a little bit of chipotle aioli, which is a garlic mayonnaise with smoked jalapeno peppers. So that's what makes these really delicious. We, fold, we kind of fold them over like little bundles. That way they're easy to pick up. The bottom's folded so nothing falls out and you, it's a nice little self-contained package. And you can eat some. Cheers. cheers. Fish taco cheers. That's what we do here. We usually do it with follow it up with a little bit of tequila, but. Yum. I could eat those every single day. Get this recipe for grilled mahi-mahi tacos at averagebetty.com. For more of Chef Scott's recipes, pick up a copy of his cookbook, Mod Mex. Chef, thank you so much for the fish tacos, taking the great time out today, and it's a pleasure. Now I have to have lunch with my mom. She's waiting for me. She's getting irritated with you at this point. Oh, well then get the hell out of here. I don't want to piss your mom off. Oh, you don't.